Hey there Windowers and welcome to another episode of Windows on Windows, part of the series on the development of Windows 8. In this episode we'll be taking a look at Windows 8 build 7880, a milestone 2 build compiled on the 10th of November 2010, around 2 months after the last build we looked at which was build 7850. So if you're ready to see the beginnings of a redesigned era of visual style, a new file system as well as further development on the new Windows 8 UI, let's take a look and let's start. So here we are at the desktop of Windows 8 build 7880 and before we delve into this build as usual I want to draw your attention back to the setup procedure that I showed at the beginning of the video where we now have some Microsoft Confidential text which was introduced in build 7875 otherwise setup is still rather indecisive. And similarly to build 7850, if you access the setup files for this build and run setupclient.exe rather than setup.exe, you get a redesigned upgrade version of setup that's different to Windows 7's and similar to the one that would ship with the final release of Windows 8. And this so-called modern setup client now has a progress bar which was added in build 7878. Now coming back to the desktop and no immediately obvious changes are present here except for the watermark which now uses the font Arial rather than Sego UI. Now this seems to be a bug that occurs in many builds from around this time and it also affects the font used in window title bars. Speaking about title bars, not a lot has changed visual style wise since build 7850, however a couple of things I've since noticed that I didn't mention in that video is that windows do now have slightly bigger minimize, maximize and close buttons seemingly as part of the new touchscreen focused nature of the OS. Additionally, there's smaller caption text on dialog boxes and the side borders for windows no longer have a blur, unlike in windows 7. Now another interesting error related thing in this build is that it introduced software rendering for the Aero theme, meaning that Aero Glass transparency can now be used even without a dedicated video driver for the system's graphic card. Now if we have a look in Winver, you'll see there's a new Microsoft Confidential banner similar to the one seen during setup and both of these were introduced in build 7875. We also have a bump to the kernel version number moving from Windows 7's 6.1 to 6.2 and again this was introduced in build 7875. If we now go to control panel, you'll notice there's a new option here called History Vault which would become File History in Windows 8 and it's basically a backup and restore feature. Now this was introduced in build 7878 and although it would replace the old backup and restore tool from Windows 7 in the final release of Windows 8, these both coexist at this point in time. We also have a new login screen introduced in this build and I use the word new lightly here as it's basically just the Windows 7 login screen but with the Windows word mark removed. Also in this build we have a very early implementation of a new file system known as the resilient file system i.e. ReFS or here where it's known by its codename Protagon. Now this was designed to be more resilient, hence the name, against things like data corruption as well as having some other advantages over NTFS and actually didn't make it into the final build of Windows 8 but it would eventually show up in Windows 8.1. And that is seemingly all there is in terms of major changes in this build, aside from an updated blue screen of death that I actually forgot to mention in the last video, but it now has anti-alias text and supports a higher number of resolutions, with the Windows Boot Manager now also having these features, which is nice to see. Now if you did watch the last video in this series on build 7850, you may remember that Microsoft implemented a security feature in Windows 8 development builds known as Red Pill, and its job was to conceal new features in the builds from the public in the event of any of the builds getting leaked. Now to access the features hidden by Red Pill, you need a tool to reconstruct the necessary files and permissions and the most famous of these is known as Redlock and just like in the last video I've already downloaded Redlock so I'll just run this now, it'll then restart the machine and we'll be able to take a look at some of these hidden features. So here we are back at the desktop of build 7880 and for our first stop without red pill let's make our way to the start screen. Now this has progressed slightly since the last time we saw it. For one thing all the tiles are now colorized which is really nice and they use each app's icon color to determine which color is used for the tile. 
Additionally, they've also gained right-click context menus, though unfortunately none of the options in the menu aside from open actually work. However, both of these changes came in build 7878. Now you may remember that in build 7850, when you exited the start screen, you were presented with what was seemingly a temporary way to access and or test the new Windows 8 snapping and closing features, and this was known as the so-called Metro Horizon. Now it's also present in this build, but instead it's accessed by pressing the Windows key when you're on the start screen. And a similar feature that can be seen here with a little bit of manipulation, and which was also in build 7850, is the so-called Emerge background which is basically the ever-present solid background that sits behind the start screen and in the future also behind the new so-called metro apps it would make its way into the final build of eight but it's definitely cuter here because kitty cats Another part of the start screen that's been updated in this build is the search feature with a new option specifically for searching within applications. The search results also now have their first letters in blue and both of these changes came in build 7875. We also have a new login screen activated with Red Pill, which replaces the default one in this build. Just like in build 7850, the user's wallpaper is used as the background, and there are some UI changes here that make this more similar to the final one seen in Windows 8. This build also includes a new pattern-based login feature, which is not accessible by default, but with a quick registry tweak, it can be enabled. And as you can see, you get a 4x4 grid of squares, and you need to use at least three squares as your login pattern, but you can pick more if you want to. Now, it's an interesting alternative to the traditional password system every version of Windows has used up to this point, and it would pave the way for more ways of logging into Windows in the future. So obviously, nowadays, we have things like Windows Hello, and Unfortunately, in this build, there's no way to actually enable this so that it's actually usable on the login screen. But again, it's just interesting to see nonetheless. And finally, Red Pill also activates a new, albeit crude, full screen out of box experience in this build, which would, with more than a bit of polishing up, make its way into the final release of Windows 8. And with that said, that is everything that I've discovered in build 7880. As usual, please let me know in the comments below if you found anything yourself in this build that I may have missed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.